we have to make changes to the HIV response. What got us here is not going to take us there. There, I mean, ending AIDS by 2030. This conference really begins to ask, what do we need to do differently and how will we get there? And that in itself is an inspiration for everyone who is attending the AIDS conference 2018. I'm looking forward to new ideas of doing things differently. I'm looking forward to us being able to influence the global agenda and influence financing around matters HIV. So I am really looking forward for this report and this pre-conference to become a game changer in the HIV response. The first thing that uh, hits at me and I think the whole world needs to get is that we have a crisis in preventing new infections across the world. Over the last almost decade, we have stagnated to almost 2 million new infections every year. And it is simply not sustainable for us to be able to continue with that number of new infections if we're going to achieve the goals that we need. So the first thing that hits at me, and I think is really a priority, is the fact that we must invest in primary prevention of HIV, the interventions that allow us to reduce people's vulnerability to risks of acquiring HIV. The second thing that comes to me in terms of what we must do is that we are losing traction on financing. We need to be able to, for the global community, to continue to have enough resources, one, to invest in the prevention, but number two, to ensure that people who are HIV positive are all on lifelong treatment under the quality of care that is needed. And currently, with the reducing um, resources allocated globally within the global health space to HIV, we are at risk of losing this. So those are the two key things that I would say I take home from this report. Uh, what I see as a second big opportunity for the HIV response is the availability of data, granulated data, in many forms uh, that is not available for many areas of health. And it is that data that allows us to make decisions. And as we move forward, we must invest more in systems that not only provide us with data, but the data in the form that it can be used for decision making. And that is an obvious opportunity that is not available globally. There has been a series of consultations across the globe with various actors who are implementers, who are donors, who are policy makers. For us to start to ask ourselves, what will it take us to be able to get to ending AIDS, which is a global commitment that we made in the sustainable development goals. Often, what we tend to have is sometimes uh, different groups of people, especially the experts, sitting down and having a very analytical decisions and discussions and deliberations about what is required. Our conference offers voices that come from across the world, up and including implementers, including communities of people living with HIV, that then really start to interrogate the issues, the challenges, and therefore the opportunities that we need to harness. The second reason we need to come for a conference is that obviously it is going to be a lot more fun. The way we have organized the pre-conference is a deliberation, discussion. It is about being able to ask the questions that we need to ask without having to worry about whether the answers that we are providing and we are giving are politically correct or not. And the third item that I think our conference, our pre-conference offers is that it is going to be fun. So let everyone come and join us.